My name is, of course, Dr. Horace Chang. I'm a Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Security in Jamaica, and I'm also Chairman of the um, Consulate, which is the Council of National Security and Law Enforcement of the CARICOM. So I'm here representing both Jamaica and CARICOM, which is the large English-speaking Caribbean, but includes Suriname and Guyana. And this meeting was convened by the Guyana Shield, which is Guyana, all the Guyanas, Colombia and Brazil, on a topic which is of urgency to all of us in this region. I like to think of it as the Caribbean Basin. There are the islands on the, on the eastern side, going through Central America, and of course, northern South America, which has a pretty high incidence of organized criminal activity involved in drug running, trafficking, and cybercrime in Jamaica. And that creates serious threat risks for the small island states, as well as the big islands where there is significant conflict. The conference was particularly useful in exchange of experience, look at some best practice, but more critically really to establish connection and sensitization by all the countries involved and then begin to examine how we can cooperate to overcome this major threat risk to the region. Many comments were made here. I wouldn't say we have worked with the solution. I think this is the beginning of our process and uh, the technical team will have to get together and look at how we can cooperate areas where we can exchange information and share ideas that we can apply. Um, the bigger jurisdiction um, will have established institutions which can work with the smaller countries to identify what can be done. Some of the processes are, are very expensive, especially in the cyber space, but much of the work to deal with crime in smuggling, such as drugs and guns, requires us cooperation and information sharing and having this um, specialized adopted police teams to deal with them. And work camps begin immediately with that, working both bilaterally with some of the big our partners, um, which is still our primary Western partners, I call them in Jamaica, the ABC countries, America, Canada, United, United Kingdom. And uh, of course, we have, once we broaden this scope, the French and the Netherlands. So there is room for that kind of development at this point, and it can work multilaterally between this, the SHIELD, CARICOM, and under the San Jose Accord with Latin American countries, and of course the OAS. So there are a number of routes that we can follow to increase the level of cooperation, collaboration, and information sharing to effectively deal with the criminals who have no borders and have significant resources, and will do anything to keep making money and in the process undermine our democratic systems.